Yo, yo, yo. CPA Strength here, strongest licensed CPA in the state of Florida. Had a great workout this morning. Got some stuff done, ate the frog on some business stuff. So we just gonna get it in. Who's ready to do some journal entries? Who is ready to have some fun doing some journal entries, okay? Let go. This is Accounting for Beginners number 132. I can't believe I've made this many. I keep going because I help, I'm helping people and the positive responses I get. So let me know if I'm helping you. Please like the video. Please comment, share, subscribe, free cookies. Here's the complete playlist. This is really, it probably, it might be the best accounting playlist on YouTube. So click it, it's got all my Accounting for Beginners videos. What are we doing? We're doing journal entries made easy. We're going through this list of journal entries here. On April 1st, Adams and Family Inc. opened. This is April 15th, we're doing a journal entry. As you can see on the bottom of the screen, this is the journal entry we're doing. Recorded services provided on account for period April 4th to 15th, $2,250. Recorded services provided on account, don't really care too much about the period, for $2,250. But first, let's do a couple things that we've graft, drafted here. This is DC Adler. This will help you. If you don't know it, watch my other videos. Brief description, we go over this every time now. Debit, credit, asset, draw, expense, liability, equity, revenue. If asset, draw, expense are increasing, we debit it. If asset, draw, expense are decreasing, we credit it. If liability, equity, and revenue are increasing, we credit it. Liability, equity, revenue are decreasing, we debit it. With a journal entry, you're gonna have a debit and a credit and they're always, always, always gonna equal. So I, I just, I've done thousands upon, th hundreds and thousands of journal entries in my, in my tenure. So I, I just really just put a line through here and then I know left is the debit, left is, right is the credit. And we have an equal sign here. So you do what you need to do for you. Also, this is a separate, kind of a separate little cheat sheet through you know, journal entries, when you go through, you can write down, hey, you know, what are common assets? Cash, office equipment, accounts receivable, liabilities, accounts payable. You can write them next to the DCA or what have you. Just so when you get on, just so when you get in a test, you don't freak out. You can just write your cheat sheet, that'll take you a couple minutes, and then you get going. All right, recorded services provided on account for $2,250. Recorded services provided. All right. We're not gonna worry, we don't have cash this time, so it's gonna be a little trickier. We gotta think a little bit. Recorded services provided. Recorded services provided. Services. We did work for someone. We recorded services provided. We record services provided. What's that gonna be? You know, you could think, hmm, services provided. Would that be, did I have services provided for me? Or did I perform, or did Adams perform the services? It says record services provided. So if we record services provided, I would really say that would be, we did serve, we did services. For 2250, we did services. We did our main thing. We record, we did, we did our services. So what would that be? We did our services, Adam's family. We performed services. It didn't say that it says recorded services. After doing a lot of these, you would say, oh, you performed, you performed a service that your business does. That's gonna be revenue. That's gonna be service revenue. Service revenue is very mainly before re, uh, revenue is service. Service revenue. Service revenue. 2250. Performing a service is going to be revenue. And we'll go to our DCA learn, and it's going up. Because just to say, we didn't perform any other services. Now we performed this service in our revenue account. It's going to go up by 2250. $2,200.50. If a revenue is increasing, we're going to credit it. So we're just going to say services, $2,250, and it's a revenue. It's how we make our money. It's the income generating. Now it gets a little tricky. We perform these services through these dates on account. Now let's just go. Let's just go to a little hack here. If it's on an, if it's on account, it's usually going to be. I can't really think of any other ones right now. When it says on account, it's either going to be accounts receivable or accounts payable. Accounts receivable is someone owes you the money, and that's an asset. An accounts payable is 
you owe somebody the money and that's and that's a and that's a liability so what is it in this case we perform service revenue on account we perform services on account so let's see we perform services on account that's service revenue on account that means we did work and we didn't get paid for it yet so someone owes us the money on account we know someone owes us the money it's going to be an account receivable it's a receive we need to receive it we need to receive the money so it's gonna so it's gonna be an account receivable so we know 2250 it's gonna be an account it's gonna be an account receivable and we know we have a spot open in the debit but does that make sense is that gonna work for us for an account receivable because we did the work and they owe us the money we are due the money someone owes us the money you're gonna pay us later that's an account receivable we see account receivable is an asset we know that because we've done a lot of accounts receivable they owe us the money so the the account receivable is an iou for money and that money is going to be in a future economic benefit for us later so we know an, an asset accounts receivable is an asset if an ad will go to our dc adler if an asset is increasing in value, we're going to debit it. Is our account receivable category going to be increasing in value? Yeah, because we did work. It's going to go up by $2,250. So that's going to be a debit. It's going to be increasing in value. Okay, so accounts receivables are debit. And that's an asset. Accounts receivables an asset. Asset, asset, asset increasing in value, debit it. Then we have our services over here for our revenue. That's increasing in value. So we credit it. Does that make sense on our balance sheet? Balance sheet is assets equal liability plus equity. Part of equity is net income. Net income is revenue minus expenses. Assets equal liability plus equity. Part of equity is net income. Uh, net income is revenue minus expenses. We have an asset tw uh, increasing 22.50. And we have revenue 22.50. We have the revenue of 22.50 here. So that means our net income is gonna be going up by 2250 and that means our equity is going to go up by 2250. So 2250 in assets equals 2250 in equity with no liabilities. Woo! Who has some fun? Who has some fun in here? <laughs> so yeah, I've been pumping these out every day and you know, I I hope you can get to, you know, if you're in a class or you're watching these whenever in the future, you know, just try to watch Watch one of these videos every day, and I, and I guarantee it after you go through the cycle, it's only, what, 10 minutes a day, six, 10 minutes a day. Watch a video. Uh, I say chip away at it a little bit each day. Rome wasn't built in a day. And after doing hundreds and hundreds and thousands of journal entries, you will definitely, definitely get this. This is CPA Strength for today. Until tomorrow, deuces.